The apprenticeship that I'm doing is the business admin level three qualification. My tutor came in to do pick the units. Um, so my role is obviously I've got different roles, one being a PA and one doing admin work as well. I feel that I've developed in my role and I've got more confident um, and I feel like I can answer more queries from customers or centres, colleges or universities um, and also how to, to speak to people so I feel more confident when I'm on the phone, applying to emails. I'd like to work my way up um, within the business so I'd like to see my career in four years time, I'd like to have a degree um, to do the level five and six business admin as well. My assessor Claire, we've got a really good relationship, I can email her or call her whenever I've got a question about any of my units or work that I've not completed because I wasn't sure about. Um, she always responds to me in a day's time. I feel like the ambassador role um, will help me to gain more confidence and speaking in front of a group of people, um, especially PowerPoints, um, so presenting. I would recommend an apprenticeship. I think for me it was the best route to be able to work and study at the same time because um, I took a gap year and I was going to university but then I decided it wasn't for me once I got the job. Um, I think it's positive because you're doing you're doing both, you're getting the work experience as well as studying. Um, going back to a previous role that I worked in, I was actually the apprenticeship coordinator. Um, so it was crucial for the learners to be involved and also to learn on the actual job. Um, so they'd be earning and at the same time gaining a qualification. So when I became the executive director here, I wanted to recruit some staff and it, I already knew that the apprenticeships were a good opportunity for that, to be able to learn on the job and achieve the qualification at the end. One thing that is crucial to her role is customer service um, and administration because most of the time it's been her answering the telephone calls and taking inquiries. Um, so she knows how to be very professional on the telephone and if we've got any difficult customers, how to handle those. Um, and also, also at the end, it's to make sure they are happy when they finish the phone call and um, to reassure them, provide that for them that we are going to uh, um, activate what they need to be done. Um, and also to be a part of a good team member and good team member with their colleagues as well. It's really good both for the organisation in training and also for IBSL as well because um, part of the our marketing, uh, she's part of the service, it's sort of wherever you come from, all that, that co-working that she does um, and also the different um, potential that she's got for, for also recruiting further centres as well and other teachers because it just ra raises the profile of the organisation definitely. Yeah, if IBSL wanted to recruit more staff I would absolutely encourage them to become um, going through an apprenticeship, um, go through the apprenticeship programme because they're learning new skills on the job um, and they're collecting the evidence whilst they're based within work. So I'd say it's crucial for me. Um, the reason being that you know going to college is great and they get the qualification but when they come into the workplace and they realise they perhaps don't have those skills there, you know, they've got to try and learn that there. Whereas when it comes to an apprenticeship, it's such a fantastic opportunity because they get everything all in one go.